This is the Trudon series V500 128GB M.2 NVMe SSD drive from Orico. I can't believe I just got all that out. Hey guys, Jonathan here with Tech Quiz Time, where I help you save time and money when it comes to gaming and technology. Now in this video, I'm gonna be looking at the 128GB NVMe drive from Orico. Now full disclosure, Orico did send this drive out to me for using in my videos. No money's exchanged hands and thoughts and opinions are definitely my own. So there are a lot of NVMe drives out there floating around from different manufacturers. Some of them are very expensive, some of them are, are quite cheap. This is leaning more towards the end of the cheap spectrum, which is nice to see because it just means that people can get in there without having to spend, you know, big bucks basically. So this is Orico's new line of NVMe drives, and they come in a few different flavors. They've got the 128 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte, the 512 gigabyte, and the one terabyte drives available. Now they all come with a limited five year warranty, and that covers the manufacturing of the device itself. You know, if you damage it, then yeah, they're not gonna cover that as a warranty thing. Now the reason that these devices are cheaper is because it uses the 3D NAND method. And what that is, is basically they're able to cram more bits into the one area versus a single bit when these NVMe drives first came out. So yeah, they're, they're squeezing a lot more capacity into a smaller area. So when it comes to pricing on these, you're looking at the 128 gigabyte going for about $35 and these are available on AliExpress or their eBay store. Your 256 gigabyte model goes for about 47 US dollars. The 512 gigabyte model goes for about 74 US dollars. And the one terabyte goes for 135 US dollars. Now in terms of speed, I haven't had a chance to test this out myself fully with a system yet, but I do have a couple of system builds coming up. So make sure you subscribe and I will let you know in those videos, what sort of benchmark speeds that I'm getting with this drive in particular. But back to the actual speeds, the website is a little bit funny. It does say that the 128 gigabyte model gets about a thousand megabytes per second on the read and about 520 megabytes on the right. But then conflictingly down the bottom of the page, it does mention a lot faster speed. So again, I really haven't had the time to test this yet, but I will in a future video. When you're looking at the 256 gigabyte model, you're getting 2000 megabytes on the read and 1000 megabytes on the write. And then with the 512 and the one terabyte models, you're getting roughly the same read, which is 2000 megabytes per second. And then the write jumps all the way up to 1500 megabytes per second. So fairly comparable to other brands out there. It's definitely not the PCIe 4 speeds, but this is only a PCIe 3 device. So you're gonna get those speeds out of these sort of devices. Other ones are obviously gonna be faster, but you'll pay more of a premium for them. Now, the other reason that I'm making this video as well is to let you know about this, but also let you know about uh, their AliExpress store and the sales that they've been having. So every now and then, I, I know different manufacturers do it as well. You've got Black Friday coming up, which is probably gonna be a, a pretty big day for tech devices, but, in particular, AliExpress are having a November 11th to 12th special sale on where you can get this little 128 gigabyte one for about $28 US, which is pretty cheap. It's one of the cheapest ones that I've seen out there. Uh, you've got your other ones, uh, they're roughly between 20 and 25% off their normal price. So if you wanna check that out, I have included a link down in the description below. And I mean, to be honest, just keep an eye on the AliExpress stores. They have sales all the time over there. I think they're, you know, they're trying to keep up with Amazon. So yeah, check it out. So like I mentioned before, I am gonna be including this in a few builds coming up. Um, I've got a couple, uh, I've got a water cooled build coming soon. I've got a, an NZXT build that I'm gonna be looking at doing, which would be great. An MSI build, which is gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a top end build. So. If I need to use this in any of those, I will, and I'll include the benchmarks and you'll be able to see exactly how fast the Trudon series Orico drives can go. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, then you can help support this channel in a couple of different ways. One of them is to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. Another way is to share this video on social media platforms like Reddit, Facebook, or Twitter. And the other way is to make a monthly contribution to the Patreon campaign.
Lastly, I just wanted to say thanks for getting this far in the video, especially if you have. There's not a lot of people that do. I really appreciate you watching this video the whole way through. And as always, Imagine, Learn, Create.